Hello and welcome to the second video of AI Fabric series. In the previous video, we already had a look at different elements and concepts surrounding AI Fabric. In this video, we'll first set up AI Fabric in the cloud platform, and then we'll use our learning from the previous video to deploy our first ML scale. But before we do that, let's have a look at the agenda. So as a first step, we'll enable the enterprise trial license to activate the AI Fabric, and then define different personas or roles in the orchestrator. And once that's done, then we'll go into AI Fabric and then deploy our first machine learning skill. So let's just log into the cloud platform first. And for that, we need the platform.uipod.com. And once you're in the cloud platform, you would see that under the admin panel, there's an option to select licenses. And here, if you see, there's an option to request for an enterprise trial. Since the AI fabric is not available for the community license, we need to activate our enterprise trial license. So just click on this request enterprise trial and fill in all the details. And then you would receive that successful message. Just close this. And as you refresh, you could see that the enterprise trial license has been activated. And now as a next step, you need to add AI Fabric to your respective tenant. So just go to tenants. And if you see here under services, as of now, it's only orchestrator service that has been activated. And if you click here on edit, you would be able to also add AI Fabric as a service to this particular tenant. And just go under edit license first. And you need to also assign at least one robot to this particular tenant. So just click on save here. And with this, you would see that AI Fabric has been added to this particular tenant. And at the same time, an AI robot license has also been allocated. So now if you go into AI Fabric, you should be able to see that your AI Fabric has been activated. And now you would also be able to create new projects here. But before we create a project, let's just define some personas and roles that we saw in the previous video. And for that, you need to go into the orchestrator. And after coming to the orchestrator, just scroll down and go under management, you would find users. And as you click here, you would also see there's another tab called roles. Just click here. And here you have an option to add a new role. So for us, let's say the new role is data scientist. And if you see here, there's a list of permission that you can assign to this particular role. Since we're just interested into machine learning packages and skills, so we will give them all the required permissions that they need. So ML scale is something that has been created by the process controller. So in this case, we'll just give him a view access for ML skills. So let's just click on create. At this point, you see there's a pop-up to manage data scientist users. So if you have added any new user, you could assign them this role. So for now, I would just close this. And I would show you how you can invite a new user. So for that, you need to go back to your cloud platform. And under admin, you will see that there is a tab called users. And here you have an option to invite users. So now in order to invite a user, I'll just click here and give in the email ID of this particular user. And just click on invite. And now if you see here, a new user has been added, but the status is still pending. The user would be activated here only after this user has accepted our invitation. So in the background, I will just go and accept this invitation. So you could also just log into your email ID and accept the invitation to whoever user you have invited it to. So what I've done is I've just went to my email ID and accepted this invitation. And now if I refresh this page, you would see that the status has been updated. And once you have added the user, all you need to do is just go back to the orchestrator and assign the relevant role to this particular user. So I would not do that. I have already shown you how to do it. So now as a next step, I would just go to AF Fabric and deploy our first ML scale. So let's just click here. And the very first thing that you need to do in order to deploy 
enable scale is that you need to create a project. And since I'll be using an out of the box package from UiPath, so I'll just call it out of the box. And since I'll be using a pre-trained model, so I will also write pre-trained. I will shortly explain you what do I mean by pre-trained. And let's just leave the description as it is and click on create. And now this would bring you to your project dashboard. So if I go back to my AI fabric, you would see that there is one tile that has been created and this is our first project. And the next time if you create another project, there would be another tile over here. So now let's just go inside this project and this would bring you to the dashboard of this particular project. And here you see a summary of different elements in this project. So as a first step, as we saw in the previous video, that we need to create a data set. But since this is a pre-trained model, you don't need to add any data and you don't need to train this model. So just directly go to ML packages and just use out of the box packages. So if I go into any one of these packages here, so for example, under language analysis, and take English text classification, for example. If you see here under the description, it says that it's retrainable. So it means in this case, you could have added a data set and also retrain this model. But I want to use a pre-trained model. So let's just go back and select sentiment analysis. And if you see here, it says it's not retrainable. It means if you use this package, you would not be able to train it. And this model has already been trained and you can just directly use it. So I would select this package because I don't have a data set as of now. So just click on submit. And now you need to give name to this particular package and we'll call it sentiment analysis. And if you see here, the descriptions are coming automatically. But in case if you were deploying your own custom model, then you would have to give a description here because this description would help the user in order to understand what kind of inputs is needed and what kind of output you'll get in case if you use this particular ML scale in UiPath Studio. So let's just click on submit here. And that would create a new package inside your ML packages tab. So in order to deploy this package, you need to go under ML skills. And if you see here, there's also one tab called pipelines. But since you're not going to train this package, so you don't need to build any pipeline and just directly go into ML skills. And here, if you see, there's an option to create a new ML scale. So I'll just click on this button here and then again, give it a name. And you need to choose the package. And since right now we have just one package, that's why it just shows sentiment analysis and the version as well. If you want, you can give a description and there's an option to enable GPU, but since I'm using a trial version, I don't have this option available for me. So I'll just click on create. So now if you see here that the status says is deploying, and once it's being deployed, then it could be directly seen in the orchestrator that there's a new package in ML skills, and you would be able to use it inside your UiPath Studio. Also in order to run this ML skill, your studio license should always be connected to the orchestrator. So let's just wait for this package to get deployed. And now if you see under the status, instead of saying deployed, it says it's available and the package has been deployed to the orchestrator. And if you want to check that, just go back to the orchestrator. And there should be a tab known as ML skills. There's a new ML skill that has been added that's called sentiment analysis. So at this point, we should also be able to use this package inside our UiPath Studio. So in order to do that, let's just open the UiPath Studio. So one thing to remember here is that the tenant to which you have added this service of AI Fabric, your studio should also be connected to the same tenant. So let's just create a new process and we'll call it AI Fabric. So now that we are here in the UiPath Studio, we need to also install the packages so that we could use this ML skills. So just go under Manage Packages and under Official, search for ML.activities or ML services here. So let's just click on Install. 
with this, you should be able to add the package to your studio instance. And now let's just open our main workflow. And we'll drag and drop activities related to ML skills. And if you see here, the first thing that it asks for is to enter the skill name. And if you see, we have sentiment analysis already being added here. So now what I would do is, I would just go to the AI fabric page and to see directly what kind of input it's needed. So let's just go back to the sentiment analysis package in AI fabric. And if you see under the input description, so I will just take this and add it as an input item. And I would save the output into a response variable. So once that's done, that's all we need to add inside this activity. And in order to see what kind of response we get, I would be using a message box. And give response variable as an input here. And now let's just try and run it. But if you see here already, the input here is a very negative sentence because it says that I'm dissatisfied with this service. So let's see what kind of result we get out of it. So the result that we get is also that it says that it's very negative. And along with that, you also get a confidence score. And this confidence score, it says that it's 94% confident that this sentiment is very negative. And if you remember, you could use this confidence score to retrain your model. But in our case, since the sentiment analysis model is not retrainable, so we'll not be able to close the loop here. So we'll see how to close the loop in the next video where we'll deploy a trainable model. So I think at this point, even you would be able to deploy your first ML scale. So that's all for this video. And like I already said, in the next video, we'll also see how to deploy a trainable model. And then we'll also close the loop using other activity within this package, which is called upload file activity. So stay tuned and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Till then, keep automating.